What is an explorer to you? Is that being the first one to arrive at a remote place, conquering a dangerous site, or exploring undiscovered cultures? In the winter of 2020, I spent two weeks in Yunnan, Shangri-La, with some professional explorers from CERS to explore the protected nature and culture of ethnic minorities. One of the items I have the strongest feeling is the Lisu culture. By having three meals a day prepared by local people, living in wooden houses renovated from their old homes, chatting with the villagers, I was falling in love with their living style and environment. Wistfully, the world is changing. People are also keeping up with the living standard in the modern world. The Lisu culture we saw might not be similar in the old days. Luckily, the preservation project initiated by CERS can let the younger generation to look back on their past. In history, places in the world are usually discovered by Western people. But Mr. Haoman Wong believes that exploring his own country could bring a new perspective and meaning to China. So, in 1986, he established the China Exploration and Research Society. In this trip, we were given a golden opportunity to follow some professional explorers to discover the lost horizon, Shangri-La. We hiked the tough main Yong Glacier, completed a cycle of the Batten pilgrimage, observed the rare wild animals, etc. During the journey, I was grateful to see that more local people were concerned about the endangered species. The experience has raised my awareness of the natural and cultural preservation. I'm thankful for the adventure of being an explorer. In China, there are still a lot of unreached places and unknown cultures waiting to be discovered. Although the methods China used for development in recent decades are constantly criticized, the nature of truth-seeking of an explorer should be independent of political reasons. If Mr. Wong didn't explore the already known sites of China, some traditional cultures might not be able to pass down through generations. Therefore, what this trip has taught me is, an explorer should stay objective, yet maintain a mind of curiosity about the world. To me, an explorer is having the curiosity of a three-year-old kid. If they keep that alive, I think everybody is an explorer. It's perseverance. Curiosity to the world! No permanent address. Yeah. <laughs>